Hey, 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 y'all. Welcome back to my channel. Channel. This your girl, LB Johnson, back with another video. Back with another video. Video, video, video. Oh, excuse me. Let's get into it. This season of your life is personal, y'all. It's personal. It's personal. It's about you and about your growth and yourself. Like, just about growth and self-love and growing um, in your purpose. Purpose, growing with God, knowing where you belong, your purpose of being on this earth. This is season. I mean, this is personal. Like, don't allow anybody to make you feel as if saying no is wrong for choosing you is wrong for choosing your peace of mind your time to be alone is wrong anything that you need if you need time to for yourself don't allow anybody to make you feel guilty for nothing that you do and nothing that you're doing when it's pertaining to you if you um have to tell your kids no your spouses no your family no be okay with that because this is a seasonal for personal growth. This is a seasonal for you to find your purpose, to find out what you're supposed to be doing with God. A lot of times people tell us we can't do stuff and we shouldn't be doing stuff for their own personal reason, for manipulation, to make us feel as if, nah, you can't do that because they don't want to see you grow. They don't want to see you advance and get walk into your purpose and see what God is about to bring and do into your life. They scared that oh, maybe she gonna leave me behind or maybe he's gonna leave me behind. <laughs> Excuse me. If they change those ways about themselves, if they do these new things about themselves, do not feel guilty for telling people no. Do not feel guilty for making this season personal. Do not feel guilty for following your dreams and doing what you need to do. Whether it's the hey, I gotta leave my family behind if I can go go do this thing that I've been wanting to do for years. I've been sacrificing everything for everybody but myself. I've been sacrificing myself for everybody. No more sacrificing yourself. This season is personal. People throw out their word narcissists and things like that and make us feel guilty about being selfish. But I'm not saying, hey, go out there and be a narcissist. But I'm telling you, it's okay to be selfish with yourself, with your mental, with your peace, with your self-love with your growth with your purpose it's okay it's okay to tell people no i don't want you to know what i'm doing this season but my answer is no for you right now and that's okay be okay with that don't feel like oh i can't do that because they're gonna be upset with me so what be okay with choosing if you want to go towards your um your your um kingdom spouse and you know you been sacrificing saying i can't do it because my family won't agree with me be okay with being perfect, being choosing you, choosing you, like making this season personal. In the midst of um, me getting this message, I was led to Psalm chapter 1, verse 11. And I don't know it verbatim because I don't have my Bible right in front of me, but you can go back and read it. And it was just saying, um, good, good come to those who don't listen to wrong teaching or listen to. Um, people who speak down on God and it went on to say some more things but that's for you to go read that's not for me to try to remember for you but you can go read it and get your own interpretation from it but a lot of times people hold us back and the things that God tell us God may tell you hey I need you to come up and pack up and go move to a different country and everybody in your family telling you nah you can't do that because they worried about well if she go here I can't use her no more I can't abuse her no more. I can't have her running this errand and running that errand and doing this and listening to this problem and listening to that problem and all of that no more. If she move out go move that way or go there or go do that, whatever. So if people try to hear you and tell you why give you every reason why they feel like something's not gonna work out for you. But it's on for it's for their own malicious um um malicious intent for their own manipulative intentions. It's, it don't have anything to do with you. So choose you in this season. Make this season personal. Make this season personal. Go within and figure out what God put you here for. Stop wasting time. Stop worrying about, well, if I do that, they ain't gonna, um, 
mess with me no more. If I do that, they ain't gonna mess with me no more. Forget what these people do. If you need to take time just to go spend it at a spa or go spend it at a restaurant or spend it in a whole different country, you have to tell your husband or your wife, baby, I need to take some time for me to get me together. Don't feel guilty for doing it. You have that right. You have to tell your kids, no, I can't do this for you right now. I got to worry about me right now. We no good to nobody else unless we take care of ourselves. And thank you, God, for this message because... I haven't, um, I've been hearing this, been hearing people use this um, analogy, analogy a while, I mean, like for the last few days, and didn't know why, but I see it, it probably was leading up to this message, but when you're on an airplane, they tell you to put your mask first on, your, um, your mask on, your oxygen mask on first before you put somebody else's mask on, because if you ain't good, if you ain't in good health, if you ain't taking care of, if you ain't good, you ain't no good to nobody else. So, regardless if your husband and your kids feel like, hey, baby, um, I need you to do this, I need you to do that, you're only giving them the bare minimum if you ain't fully there, if you're not fully present. Like, when I do stuff, I really don't want people to attend my functions or come hang with me if they're not fully present. I hate that because it's like, okay, you're here, but you're not here. So, when you take care of yourself first, you can be present in every moment, wherever you at, because, hey, my mind ain't over there, my mind ain't worried about Oh, I got that bill to pay. Oh, I got to, me and my husband just got into it. Or my kids doing bad at school. Or my mama need me over here. Or my sister need me over there. Or my dad is over there. All of that. No. Make this season personal. So when you do show up for your people, you can show up present. And not worried about everything else that's not in front of you. You can worry about the things that's right there in front of you. Like, you can be truly present. You can be present with your husband and not worried about the kids. You can be present with your kids and not worried about your husband. So, make this season personal. Tell those people, no, when you need that time, take, even if this person, if that season of being, first me on that personal season is only for 30 minutes, take that time for you. You deserve it. And don't let nobody tell you you don't. And if they say you don't, they the one selfish, not you. Because how I don't deserve time by myself. I came in this world by myself. Why I can't take time for myself? To go spend 30 minutes with God. Just to go spend a few minutes with God. Whatever it may be. Take that time and grow and find out. Go within and figure out what, what is my purpose of being here, God. What do, what assignment do you have for me? What, what, what do you need from me today, Father God? Take that personal time. Put your phone on, do not disturb, and don't be worried about, okay, if I do that, I'm a mom, and my kids, they're going to be okay. They're going to be okay, especially if you're taking that time with God, they're going to be okay because God will keep them okay. He's going to protect them during that time because he knows what you're doing. you busy in his business and not at theirs. So take that personal time. Don't worry about who got whatever they got to say because that ain't none of your business how they feel. Right now, it's about you. Take care of you. I love, 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 love you. Please like, share, and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. 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 Hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload another video. And if you watch more than one of my videos, you must like something about me. So subscribe if you haven't. All right. I'm out of here. Talk to y'all later. Bye.